you want to get set up with somebody decent, quality, and you want to participate a little bit. Part of your participation is going to be just finding a good company to deal with and maybe doing some work on the side yourself. I didn't used to talk about this, but if you don't do any work on the side, you're constantly just focused on the service on HVAC service side, you need to incorporate the sales and leads as a thought process in your head. And we all know that it's online marketing is the lion's share of everything that you can do. Um, as you incorporate more leads, your funnel builds more repeat clients and a healthy HVAC company will have, you know, hundreds of calls come in or hundred calls come in and a large percentage of them be repeat with lots of new calls coming in each and every month. And it's important that you do that. So let's talk about some things that you need to do in order to have a healthy business. For one thing, you may have heard me say before, it's important for you to get singularly focused in your head about how vital the sales and leads are. So to reconcile that you will get more sales, you will get more leads, and if you don't have them, you're willing to do what it takes to get, make it happen. Hey there guys, it is Nolan Walker with HVAC Webmasters. Today, the title of what we're talking about is HVAC SEO doesn't work for you because you don't work SEO. And um, you know, most people simply don't do enough work. I just got a call um, and it was a second generation calling for a site that was one of the oldest in the market, but it had never been worked on. So the second gen was gonna do it it had the ability to do all this work this whole time, but no one ever touched it. So if I'll, I'll, I'll disclaimer a few things here. One, you may have tried SEO and be an HVAC company that's tried and, and not gotten results. And that's okay. That happens. Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, companies that claim to do great uh, search engine optimization that just don't do a good job. Um, so that can happen uh, and it's okay that you have had that happen because there's no rules and guarantees in business when you sign up that everybody's going to perform perfect services for you. It didn't happen that way for me and I know it didn't happen that way for you. I actually got messed around by an SEO company eons ago and that's how I ended up starting up HVAC Webmasters and helping other helping HVAC companies get uh, do better with online marketing essentially. So it's okay if it happens. What's not okay is giving up on it because the potential to show up well for it, search engine optimization is so very high once Google gets the signals that they want. And once they're up and you see these signals up and they see custom code base and design and regular work, it can work great. But there's a lot that can be done. So two, then you know, you want to get you want to get set up with somebody decent quality and you want to participate a little bit. Part of your participation is going to be just finding a good company to deal with and maybe doing some work on the side yourself. I didn't used to talk about this, but if you don't do any work on the side, you're constantly just focused on the service on HVAC service side. You need to incorporate the sales and leads as a thought process in your head and we all know that it's online marketing is the lion's share of everything that you can do. Um, as you incorporate more leads, your funnel builds more repeat clients and a healthy HVAC company will have, you know, hundreds of calls come in or hundred calls come in and a large percentage of them be repeat with lots of new calls coming in each and every month. And it's important that you do that. So let's talk about some things that you need to do in order to have a healthy business. For one thing, you may have heard me say before, it's important for you to get singularly focused in your head about how vital the sales and leads are. So to reconcile that you will get more sales, you will get more leads, and if you don't have them, you're willing to do what it takes to get, make it happen. If that thought isn't in your head, you can't, what, so as, a, as an example, you can't get frustrated by online marketing and give up or get angry and think that everybody's out to screw you or something like that. That's a bad train of thought to have. There are good companies out there like HVAC Webmasters and you can get up in rankings. Your competitors aren't up there for no reason and they're savvy and they're fighting for the organic rankings on map placement, on your organic keywords, they're integrating reviews. 
Things that you need to do on the site nowadays are things like reviews. It's important that you have them. We help you integrate them into the website. We give you a dashboard in order to text direct links to your reviews to your clients and we integrate everything that we can through the website and it's your job to make sure that every client is you know, propositioned that review, say we need the review. And so you should hand them a piece of paper or a card, go to my website, give them something, ask them in person, you should text them, you should do multiple points of touch. I talk to people every once in a while and they say, we just can't get reviews. I don't hear it as much as I used to, but that's just someone who hasn't tried hard enough and hasn't made it serious as an integrated thing to their business. You can get reviews, you will get reviews if you want to do well in business and continue. That is something that's a necessary thing on the client side. The other thing on the client side that I suggest to do is that we do uh, really great jobs at intricate social ad spend. The demographics and how we run them are superb, but I'm not in front of your client, I'm not at your company, we're not there with our camera, and we can't take pictures and video. So you should and need to do some photos every once in a while and or video and post them to at least Facebook and maybe Instagram. That would be two good platforms to run and we run those regularly for the ad spend portion for the clients. What do we do on our end? We do custom web work, custom code base to a level that you will not find anywhere. We do content that is structured in deep dive that you also will not find anywhere and we do lots of it to help expand your keywords which expands the keywords to the organic as well as the map placement. And then we get into things like your GMB, Google My Business account, embellish it with pictures, maybe videos if we have them, regular postings to it. We get in and integrate things like structured data markup, stuff that should be done. We also get into your domain authority, depending on the level of work that we do, and provide extremely high quality inbound links from only legitimate source and we will go in and do regular blogging, on-site changes, content changes, content additions, and code base changes, and client requested changes as they're asked. And so those are normal things that we do for your search optimization effort that will help give the signals and clues through the search engine that you're quality, that you're working on a myriad of things, and it'll help dozens to hundreds of keywords go up into ranking as evidenced by your Google Analytics that we will hook up for you. So if that's done, your SEO, your HVAC SEO will work. It doesn't work now because you haven't done enough or you've paid the wrong people to do it or you haven't paid enough. You know, I, I talk about that too. I don't blame you for trying something for 99 bucks a month. It's okay to try once or twice. It's not okay to try three times. If you got messed around and you paid $1,000 a month and they did a bad job, try again. It, at some point with enough money per month, you will find a high quality service that will do a great job. If you do not do this, you will end up hustling around for leads, calling lead services that you will hate, but you'll use them because you have nothing else. You'll pay for every click and every lead that you have and your return on investment will be much much less than it could have been. And it will hamstring your business and give you a hard time as opposed to being able to have organic base set well and then also being able to participate in some leads and other paid sources. I love doing the paid sources when it comes to Google AdWords and Facebook and Instagram. Some of that's just fantastic and I love it and I do it myself. Um, some of it I do because it's an integrated authoritative approach to help me all the way around in my business. And um, I have a, what would Nolan do? We talked about a few times, me and talking about myself in third person. I have a Nolan inclusive package. Um, if you wanna do things on the level that I do, we have something that we can set you up with that'll set the world on fire and do great. And then you can just keep ratcheting up things on an organic basis and paid and do a little bit of everything. and. Um, it's better to, we have clients that set up, I was just talking about a client that we set up um, about four or five months ago and they're already getting 40 to 50 leads per month off of organic and um, you know what's logical to do when that individual starts to grow is to ask us what else we can do. 
um, what's common that I see happen is that the business owner never calls back. So we don't have, they, they keep the service, but they don't call back and ask us what else we could do. We don't call you and hustle and nibble extra money or anything like that. But I commonly see a client buy a billboard or buy a commercial on TV or a huge print distribution. And I guess what's crazy about it to me is that I know that we could have done even higher in signaling stuff that would have had a phenomenal return on investment. And I know too that when they purchase that print, billboard, television commercial, it's going to be a horrible return on investment and a bloodbath. I also know that the reason that they're able to afford that is because I've seen this for almost a decade now that months into doing business with quality like HVAC webmasters, they will have money in their pocket and then all of a sudden they're like, I'm going to go try some marketing. But it does not click with most people to call back and say, hey, what else could we do, uh, HVAC webmasters? What else could we do, Nolan? And um, we would have taken them and had a very nice return. One thing that we do for you here that I'm proud of is that when you call us, I do not do some big, huge, one inclusive package with somebody. We talk to people individually to see what you need and the money spend is spent well for that client and the first money that's spent is the highest return on investment possible, which typically is search engine optimization. That's what the average HVAC company needs and we start you there because the return is the best and then we expand logically from there with paid on AdWords management or pay-per-click management or it can be other things even like podcasting and videos like I'm doing now. And so, but it'll be the best return for you. And so don't give up on your SEO. Don't be that HVAC company. Be one that fights for it and gets dominant in your market. I know that it can be done. You can do it. The only difference between you and the people that are up there are sim simple actionable steps that they have taken to get themselves there. They've done away with fear and ego and pride and um, anger and all the other things that hold us back from progressing and um, they've moved forward. So I know it can be frustrating. I've done it a long time, um, but you can get up there and we can help you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would personally like to hear from you someday. I still answer the phone a lot around here and help onboard new clients. If I don't, we'll help you anyway, but I'd like to hear from you someday. Have a good day.